Hi, it's Philip Byrne for Phonescoop.com, and here I'm looking at a couple new browsers available for the Android platform. First browser I'm looking at is the new Skyfire 2.0 browser available from Skyfire. As you can see, it renders pages very nicely, and it even includes pinch and zoom capabilities, although it's not quite as smooth as you'll find on the dedicated Google browser. It still works pretty well. Now, one of the interesting things about the Skyfire browser is that you can actually play flash videos through the browser. You can't exactly play them in line, but if you click on a page that does have a video available, see you get this normal error message from flash, but you can open up this bar at the bottom called the sky bar, and if there's a video on the page, it'll let you click on that button, and you can start loading the video. And here's the same video again, now playing in the Skyfire browser. As you can see, it looks good, it looks nice and smooth, pretty much as good as you'd expect from a good YouTube video. And Skyfire has a few other cool features on board too. For instance, if you want to share a web page, it has a share link right down here at the bottom, and you can instantly send that URL to your Facebook over text message or uh, email. Uh, it handles Windows fairly nicely, as you can see, if you have separate windows open. And it'll even, at the tap of a button, convert from a mobile-looking page to those classic iPhone standardized paged with the better touch layout. It sort of gives you some options there as well. And that is the Skyfire browser. Here's the second browser released recently for the Android platform. This is the new Firefox mobile browser, which is still going by its codename Fennec. Now, Fennec is a pre-alpha build, so you really are using this at your own risk, but it's already working pretty nicely, and it's got some features that are just fascinating, stuff that I've never really seen anywhere else. Um, first of all, navigating around pages is not very easy. You can't pinch and zoom. There's no zoom tools hidden around. There's not even a menu. When you press the menu button on the phone, nothing really pops up yet, and this is about as close as you can get. So that's obviously something that's going to need to be improved, but there's still enough here to recommend this browser if you want to give something interesting a try. For instance, you can search directly from the address bar on Google, Amazon, Twitter, or even Wikipedia. So you can search Twitter directly from the address bar. Fennec lets you do tabbed browsing, and it really has one of the best ways of handling tabs on a mobile browser that I've seen. As you can see, from any normal web page, you just slide the page to the right, and here you get all the tabs. It's very easy to open and close tabs quickly, and this is really just a nice, elegant way to handle things. On the other side of the browser, you get your bookmarking and separate tools, and here's your settings. And as you can see, one of the interesting things about the Firefox mobile browser is that it uses add-ons just like the normal Firefox browser. So here you have Twitter bar, which lets you actually tweet from the address bar. There's a YouTube enabler. And this is Google, uh, Firefox's Weave extension. Now Weave is a very cool extension. It lets you synchronize your mobile browser with your desktop. Here's one very cool trick that I found that Firefox mobile can perform. If you can see this, I'm actually scrolling within the Google Reader frame. This is the first time I've seen a mobile browser that's able to properly handle a scrolling frame like this. So even though this is a pre-alpha build, clearly they've already done some very cool stuff with this, and I'm very curious to see what happens in the next versions. We'll definitely be keeping our eyes on the Firefox mobile browser. And for Phonescoop.com, I'm Philip Byrne.